The largest and least protected places on our planet are the high seas. That is the enormous areas of deep ocean that lie beyond national jurisdictions. They cover more space than all the continents combined, containing ancient coral reefs and trenches deep enough to hold Mount Everest. These vast blue worlds are the highways for whales, for sharks, for turtles and for tuna, traveling thousands of miles. It's home to an extraordinary array of biodiversity, crucial to the health of our planet. This life drives the ocean's biological pump, capturing carbon at the surface and storing it deep below. Without this, our atmosphere would contain 50% more carbon dioxide and the world would be too hot for life. But the global oceans are under threat, facing growing exploitation, including unregulated fishing and the emerging deep sea mining industry. Thrown climate change, ocean acidification and plastics, well, you've got a toxic mix. Now, in a new report commissioned by Greenpeace, scientists from Oxford and York universities in the UK are laying out how it's crucial that at least 30% of the world's oceans are protected as ocean sanctuaries by 2030. This, they say, would protect habitats and species. It would rebuild biodiversity and allow ecosystems to recover. And crucially, they say, it would lead to an increase in fish stocks outside the sanctuaries, helping to underpin global food security.